Hey everyone, welcome back to the Windows Subsystem for Linux series. This is episode two, and we're gonna be setting up our shared directory. Uh, it's gonna allow us to work with Linux files and directories from Windows, and Windows files and directories from Linux. Now, the reason you wanna do this is, if you access any of the Linux files using Windows, you can corrupt them, which obviously is a bad thing. Uh, so we're going to set up this shared directory, which is going to act as our kind of root folder for any shared projects that we want to work with from either operating system. So I'm here in a virtual machine. It's the same one that we use to download um, Ubuntu. So let's go ahead and fire that up. So we're in the bash terminal and we're in the home directory. So exactly the same as we got when we downloaded it. We haven't done anything. So let's go ahead and set up our shared directory. So let's go to the root of the file system. So CD forward slash, that's gonna take us to the root of the Ubuntu file system. If we run LS, pretty much everything you'd expect from a Ubuntu machine. Now to get to our drives, we need to CD into this directory here mount so cd m and t and if you run the ls command you can see we get the c drive so let's jump into the c drive and you can see now we're in the root of our c drive so what we're going to do this is where we're going to create the directory you could create it to anywhere you want you could put it in the in your own users directory so come in here you could create it there but i'm just going to stick it right in the root of our C drive. Let me clear that. So, mkdir, I'm just going to call it WSL. So you can see we've now got this Windows subsystem for Linux directory on the root of our file system. And we can see that by just coming to this PC, C drive, and there we go. So now with this directory, we can work with it just like we would any other Windows directory. Any files we put in there can be shared safely between the two, so that works out pretty well. Um, but let's go ahead and go back to our home directory in the Linux machine. And um, we're gonna add a couple of aliases to our bash RC file. So let's jump in, let's use nano. Now this is just the defaults that come with the Ubuntu distribution. Now down at the bottom here, I'm just gonna put alias WSL equals CD MNT C WSL. Now of course, change this to wherever you created your WSL directory. Obviously I put mine in the root of the C directory. Now what this is gonna do, it's just setting a quick alias so that whenever we enter the WSL command, it's going to execute this here. So it's going to change directory into our shared directory that we just created. So X, Y, enter. We need to reload the bash RC file. So source bash RC. Now if we put WSL, that takes us to our directory, which is great. So it's a nice, quick, handy alias to get to your shared directory whenever you need to. Um, let's go ahead and create a file in here using Linux, and then we're gonna edit it using a Windows app. So let's make a Python file, uh, touch hello.py. If we do ls, we can see that there. So let's go ahead and open that with Visual Studio Code. Boom. Let's make some changes. Let's just keep it simple. Print, hello world. Save that file. So you can see we can edit files, we can save them, we can do whatever we want. Oh. Save that and close that. Head back to our bash terminal and run the file. 
And likewise, we can do exactly the same. We can edit that file from Linux. Obviously, that's where we created it. Let's just use nano. And let's write a little message. So as you can see, we can edit a file from Linux, we can edit a file from Windows, and there's absolutely no issues whatsoever. So I'm gonna head back to my home directory here, and I'm gonna go back into the bash RC file. Um, I spend most of my time sort of in this Windows subsystem shared directory that I've created. So I'm just gonna set a quick command that whenever I fire up a new bash shell, it's gonna take me there automatically. So I'm just gonna stick in the command, x, y, save. I'm gonna source the bash RC file. And as you can see, that's automatically run the CD command and taken me to the WSL directory. Now, you don't have to do that. It depends on your workflow. If you work mostly in the um, Linux file system, then don't bother. But for me, I spend most of my time sort of working with the files in the shared directory. So it's quite nice. It's just a convenience thing. So I've gone ahead and set that up, but you don't have to. Um, that's pretty much it for this one. Um, it's just a nice way to work with files across both file systems without doing any damage. So that wraps this one up and I will see you guys on the next one.